it's just like I'm at the point in my life where I need to be in a scenario where I can just bang on and not give half piss about my neighbours, yeah? Otherwise, I really don't think I could be very successful in this racket. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. All right, yo, what up world? Back with a, another one. Today is a pizza from Domino's. It's a Brooklyn style. We have no time to waste because it is 2019, almost 2020, and in that time, there is no such thing as a hot delivery pizza. So let's check it out, get a thumbnail, and get to eating. Ooh wee, it's a spectacular guy. Ooh wee, it's a spectacular pie. Ooh wee, it's a spectacular slide. All right, it looks great. Before we do anything more, we must, for fast forward video, we are breaching. Today, we have Canada Dry Ginger Ale. I've already been sipping on it, as you can tell. We are at the bare tail end. But it's still misting like the rivers of the night in the Niagara region. And by that I mean falls. But it is a river in the night, lit up. Casino styles. Very, very nice. Okay. You guys know I have to get to these things while they're hot, especially because I live in literally the tundra. I live in Tundra Bay. And in order to get a hot pizza, especially when it's minus 24. <laughs> yeah, you heard it right. Minus 24. It's a real thing that happened. It's hard to get them here hot, you know what I mean? But we're still warm. We're dipping, we're dripping. In this ranch barbecue sauce, uh, buffalo sauce, a little bit of pickling liquid from the pepperoncinis. And so we go. Yes. We are hitting and flexing on all cylinders. If you guys have never tried the concoction of this dip, please do immediately at once. What a miracle. We have steam on delivery. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. I feel as if that is the best way a pizza video can go down. Nice and hot. Just get into it. Also, not obstructing your view and keeping the dip in an off grid location. Mm -hmm. Just look at the bubbling in there. I love that bubbly stuff. <clears throat> this is easily my favorite pizza from Domino's. I do like various stylings from Domino's. Their pan pizza is good. Still, Pizza Hut is better. I like their thin and crispy, like the really thin. Almost like um, like a phyllo dough, I wanna say. Fire. I love those. But this crust. The 
the New York style to me is the best one. In my humble opinion, somebody got vexed at me on a pizza video recently for being like for folding pizza. Saying that you shouldn't be folding slices unless it's like a New York slice. I mainly do it for sauce technique issues. For me, it's just a way more effective method of when you deal, less drip. The tip. Always can kind of roll free solo. But then when it comes to this scenario, it's like when you do this, you can kind of like cradle to the grave and then it doesn't drip as bad, you know? You just avoid disaster. The rich, creamy fattiness of the ranch. That nice vinegary of the buffalo kind of heats me up, gets me a little bit red-eyed, a little Kris Kringle, if you will. Tis the season. That little bit of barbecue to give it a smoky hint and like really just balance out the heat. She's nice. I'll tell you what I'm not into though, <clears throat> and I have a whole video pretty much dedicated to it coming out soon, is like ducking and dodging noise and interruptions while trying to like be at a creative maximum in terms of things that require minimal sound intrusion, especially even like even music and other stuff. It's so frustrating, man. It's just like, I'm at the point in my life where I need to be in a scenario where I can just bang on and not give half piss about my neighbours, yeah? Otherwise, I really don't think I could be very successful in this racket. So. That's just where I'm at. Can't wait to get into a scenario where I'm unhindered and can always be at maximum potential of creativity and output of content. But I have a whole video going to be talking about that and <clears throat> my backstory and my future needs in life. To be successful entrepreneur. And YouTube personality. Okay, enough with the accent. Back to the pizza. I know like there's so many foods on my channel that I say to remind me of a hangover. We're seeing a trend about my life. But if there is one that really reminds me of hangover life, <clears throat> it is this. 
This exact pizza. The Brooklyn Pie. Extra cheese, light sauce with the Brooklyn pepperoni. For years, it was a cheap coupon. I have something like ten ninety nine. It's a large. It used to come with a two liter as well. All said and done, by the time it got to your house, you're looking at about twenty bucks with tip. It was a sick deal. And that's the other thing too about Domino's. <clears throat> Where they do hit it out of the park is like the order tracker. And their delivery is usually fast. But you can like watch the process of your pizza happening and in your like writhing painful death hungover state you can see like the promised land being created and coming to you live in action it just gives you that hope that you'll have like a greasy carbonated bubbly ranch cure very soon all right ladies and gents i hope you're here and i hope you're happy for it because today is the day that your guy i polishes a pie i got the stomach i got the room But we're going to double down to make it happen. I have no idea the last time I was able to actually finish a whole pie. excessive I know <clears throat> but my stomach is requiring it this is terrible agreeing and allowing it to happen this crust has a little bit of like a like a water cracker vibe Less crisp, of course, but <clears throat> it's got that vibe. It's got that cracker energy. Like me. Get it? Cue the rocky music. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm, mm. This hair, this eye hair. <laughs> I can see a hair in my vision hanging from my hat. And it's not 
making me happy. <clears throat> I will never be the karate kid if I can't even grab this hair out of my vision. How am I supposed to snag a fly with a chopstick? Do you know what I mean? Okay. Crushed. Feels great, but feels terrible. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that one. Till the next one. You know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.